And let me just say one thing. Just because, just because I had a recent knee operation does not mean I can't walk Roscoe like I used to. I walk him with this walker. It ain't what you do, it's how you do it. You that's, know what I'm saying? That's right. Come on, Roscoe, let's go. So, Papa, where are we headed? Uh, we're we headed to PetSmart. Okay. We're going to get some some food for Brother Roscoe. Yeah, some food and some some treats for him. Okay. You know, we like to encourage Brother Roscoe to keep on doing the right thing, and the, and one thing we use as a form of encouragement is giving him some treat just rubbing his head he loves that absolutely yeah so so that's where we headed we're headed to pistol uh i know we we were just playing around with the camera taking videos and my grandson Mello decided to hey let's put this up on TikTok and see what happens. But lo and behold, I'm sure he did not have a clue that within 24 hours, he would have had over a million views. And that's what happened. So it's amazing how things happen. So I always say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. What, what that means, whatever is working, don't stop it. Let it keep on going. Do not let it go to your head. Don't let it go to your head, no. Don't let it go to your head, no. And Roscoe, that's my boy. He's a good dog. Anybody who is contemplating getting a dog, but I just, I'm a dog lover. I love dogs. And this is my first time having a Chewini. And I can guarantee you, <laughs> sure it won't be my last time because if anything happens to Roscoe and we need to get another dog, guess what it's going to be? A Chewini. You got it. It'll be another <laughs> Chewini. They are small, they're smart, and they're very entertaining too. And just to give you an idea of uh, some of the things uh, Roscoe does, uh, he does funny things around the house. He walks around the house looking for things to pick up on, and he'll pick up, he picks up on shoes and socks and slippers and anything that's on the floor that he can, that he can grip with his mouth, he will pick it up and he'll bring it in the, in the family room of our house where he has a, what we call a day bed and he everything he picks up with his mouth he brings it to the day bed and the day bed is so crowded with stuff that he has picked up around the house i don't know how he can get in there so sometimes when he gets ready to get in his bed he, he's got to put he, he's got to make room for himself But uh, he's a funny dog he moved he runs around the house like he's a little like he's a little a uh, thoroughbred horse running in a in the Kentucky Derby uh, He is so funny He makes us laugh so much sometimes we uh, 
sometimes we we wonder what we don't. My wife and I sometimes we are wondering what are we gonna do? We are gonna turn on the TV or just watch Roscoe? We we may say well uh, later for turning on the TV. We we're just gonna watch Roscoe because <laughs> Roscoe, uh, some, he is just as entertaining if not more entertaining than some of the stuff you see on TV. But he's a he's a good dog. Uh, he's got a good, great temperament. Uh, good appetite. He loves to eat. Just like most dogs. But he won't eat anything though. He's he's kind of particular about about food. I mean, he's just like some people, you know, just like we we are particular about what we like to eat. Roscoe is the same way. He he has his likes and his dislikes as it when it comes down to foods. And let me just say one thing. Just because, just because I had a recent knee operation does not mean I can't walk Roscoe like I used to. I walk him with this walker. It ain't what you do, it's how you do it. You that's, know what I'm saying? That's right. Come on Roscoe, let's go. Roscoe, we're trying to find some toys for you to play with, all right? So you won't be playing with the same old toys every day. I see a bunch of stuff up in here that he, he would like. Something that he, something that he likes to bite on and drag around the house. Yeah. <laughs> you like that, Roscoe? <laughs> this looks like something he might like. Looks a little big, huh? Hmm. He has toys that big. Yeah, it is kind of large. Let's see if we can find a smaller version of it. Let's go. You like that? You'd have to bite on it real hard to give it, to make it squeak. Okay. See? I don't know if he can bite down that hard. Yeah, we're getting some new toys. We're trying to find something that he would like. He might like this, but this has, you have to squeeze, yeah. squeeze it too hard to you get a squeak. Little baby in. tennis balls. Mm -hmm. They have itty bitty ones up there. Which one? Can you see them on some? That looks pretty cool. It's a Which Nerf. One? It's a Nerf gun. What kind of game? It's a Nerf gun, but uh -huh. it has the little tennis balls for the dogs in it, so you can shoot out the tennis balls. And, and you can run, catch. Yeah, run it. Go ahead, run and catch it. Okay. Okay. Okay, we'll try one of these. You want me to hold it? Yeah. Hold it. Okay. okay. Now let's go to the treats. But look, bro, you done got all tangled up. That's for big dogs. Yeah. 
We need something for little puppies. This is mini bites. Roasted chicken. That's a good one. Oh yeah, I like roasted chicken. I might get some and eat some of this myself. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> See, can you find another one with another flavor other than chicken, maybe beef or something else? Bacon. Let's see. Salmon. What's that? Salmon. Okay, let's try that one. Put this one back. Okay, we'll try this too. Say what's up? What's up? We're gonna go to the dog park. Uh, give uh, give Roscoe uh, some recreation, so he can probably meet some meet some more dogs, run around, have a good time. We've got great weather. I mean, the temperature is what about 65 degrees, plenty of sunshine. I mean, you couldn't ask for any better weather. So this will be Roscoe's first time ever at a dog park. Uh, we're in Katy, Texas, which is a, a suburb of, of Houston. I think Houston is a, good, is a good place as well. I mean, it's the fourth largest city in the country. And we go to Houston a lot. Uh, lots of good things going on in Houston. So. When I gave you my preference about Katie, that is not to say that Houston uh, is bad. No. Oh, you stepped in it, bro. I got to wash your feet. You stepped in it? Uh, he stepped it. He didn't step all the way in, it's just on the edge of it. Rocco, here. Uh, you know what I need to do? Instead of shooting it, I need to throw it because it, this gun sits, sends it too far. Yeah. Go get it, Roscoe. Here. Go. Bring it back. Oh, you're uh, close. Get it. Yeah. All right, now. Go get it. Go. Get it. Come on. Right here. <laughs> got him, you gotta be fast. Yeah, you gotta be fast.
I'm in week number six from my reconstructed right knee. I'm coming along pretty good, I must say. And Roscoe has been a great help to me. I don't know if I would be this far along had it not been for the presence of Brother Roscoe. He's a good dog, a good, my, that's my, I call him my road dog. Yes, indeed. He's, he's, he's been a blessing. And I just want to uh, thank uh, Sean and Dana for making it possible for us to have Roscoe. Because like I said, I don't know if I'd be this far along if it had not been for Roscoe. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Bring it back. Give me that bar. Give me the mellow. Oh, uh, uh.